Good day, everyone, and welcome to the Yuki Shimmelman Show. I am your host, Yuki Shimmelman. Today, we will be speaking with the founder and president of the Tent of Abraham, the newest health and happiness therapy spa. Please welcome to our show from Santa Cruz, California, Ben Oyveski. Shalom and peace unto you, Yuki. By the way, it's uh, pronounced Ovski. Oh, sorry, Ben, because uh, it's written here, uh, Oyveski. Yeah, I know. I, I get that a lot when I meet people. Wow, I see a very beautiful house uh, behind you. Is that where the next Tent of Abraham uh, event will take place? Uh, no, this is my, uh, uh, my chateau away from chateau. Just a little winter place I come to relax and get away from it all. <coughs> During the spring uh, and summer, I live in Greenwich, Connecticut. Uh, it, isn't that the wealthiest area in America? Not at all. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure uh, Money Magazine voted it number one. I'm true. Okay, well, you know, I, I didn't realize there was this much money to be made at the Tent of Avram. Well, it's uh, not just therapy. You know, it's all about reaching your spiritual potential. Uh, I'm sorry, Ben. Um, would you mind looking into the camera when you speak? Uh, you see, it, it, it confuses the viewers at home. Yeah, it's difficult to hear you as well when you look away. Absolutely. So, uh, tell us a little bit about the Tent of Avram. Well, just like Avraham, uh, his tent was open on four sides. Uh, we believe that our life is also uh, open to four things uh, that could cause us pain and strife. Aha, uh -huh. and uh, those four dimensions are what? Okay, uh, you got your four struggles, and they are uh, impermanence, suffering, uh, not being yourself, and distrust. Uh, <laughs> uh, that sounds a little bit like Buddhist philosophy to me. Mm -mm. You cannot be more distant and far from the truth. Uh, my friend Yoki, all my sources are completely Jewish. In fact, uh, my Rebbe, who taught me uh, all my uh, religious uh, information, was a very religious Hasid. Uh, I have a picture of him here. I'll show it to you. Uh, that's, that's the Dalai Lama. It is not. That's Reb Shlomo Yitzchaki. Uh, he's the head rabbi of the uh, Beth Tzedek Sharei Torah Ora. No, no, you're, you're totally making this up. This, that's clearly the Dalai Lama. Uh, with a very poorly drawn beard and, and yarmulke drawn on. Probably done on paintbrush. Uh, and there's no such place as the Beth said Whatever it was that you said. Do you take us for fools? Absolutely not, Yoki. This is clearly uh, outrageous. You see, you're the one who's blind. Yeah, let me draw it out for you. You see, yeah, exactly. Uh, the teaching of the Tent of Abraham is, first of all, is known by its uh, short form, Taoism, which is spelled T-A-O-I-S-M. Uh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Um, is that, you said Taoism? Yes. No, no, that, that's an Eastern religion. That's not Judaism. No, it's, no, no, no. Taoism stands for Tent of Abraham. Taoism. Now you should have written it uh, T O A, Tent of Abraham, not not the other way around. T I O. That's that's an Eastern religion. That, that's just how it's spelled. No, it isn't. Anyway, uh, Taoism teaches us that everything in life can be conquered if we just try. It, if you just try, that that just sounds like a platitude to me. Well, you know, something must be done, and the time is now. Uh, another platitude. Uh, I still don't get it. You see, many people love Taoism, and it has changed many people's lives. Yeah, they're called the Chinese! Okay, well, you see, then those people who graduate from Taoism, they go out, and they find two friends of their own. And then, you know, hopes that one day, everyone will be touched by Taoism. Okay, now you're, now it's starting to sound like a pyramid scam. No, not a pyramid scam. Mm -mm, not at all. No, 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 wait, let me show you. You see, you take two friends, well, you take you, and you get two friends, and they get two friends each, and then they get two friends each. That makes a pyramid. Yeah, that looks more like a triangle to me. Okay, well, I drew it in 2D, but in 3 See, the problem is that people talk about, ever, about everything about it, but they never even tried it. You need to come and experience it for yourself. Give us three days, and we will change your life for the best. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, just tell us what happens exactly at this retreat. Well, we start by taking away your connection to the outside world, 
Uh, we limit your food and water. We uh, regulate your sleep. Uh, once you change your name and sign a legal document that says you're not allowed to talk about anything at all about what goes on in the tent, you're officially become a member of the tent. Yikes. Uh, <laughs> sounds a little bit like a cult. A cult? Not at all, Yuki. Not at all. It's a brotherhood. You know, a men's group. A family. Still sounds like a cult to me, and I should know. No, you don't. Actually, I've been fighting cults and busting cults for like uh, 12 years now. I've also written three books and produced a documentary for television um, all about cults and the tactics they use to trick people. And what you're describing uh, actually exactly sums up what a cult does. Ha! For TV? Ha! That's not even a real documentary. Ha! Yeah, you never even experienced the Tent of Brahma, so you, can t you can't even talk about it. Huh? D did you just say the Tent of Brahma? No, no, I said Abraham. No, 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 you said Brahma. That's a god from Hinduism. What? This is getting ridiculous. I never said Brahma. Okay, whatever, maybe it was a Freudian slip, but... Uh, a what slip? Um, a Freudian slip. What's that? It, it's a slip of the tongue, it, but really an unconscious... You know, it has unconscious meaning. It, it's Sigmund Freud's theory. Who? Uh, you, you never heard of Sigmund Freud? No. Was he a philosopher? Are, are you even a real therapist? Of course I am! I mean, like, have you gone to medical school? Did you train for this? Well, I have enough experience doing... You know okay, let's get get this guy out of here. Can't, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Oh, you vasemir. I'm sorry, people at home. I'm really sorry you have to watch this interview. Uh, you know... We try to get quality people on this show here. Uh, so anyways, uh, we'll try it again next time. Next week, join me for a very special, special discussion. Thanks for watching and have a great day. See you later. Bye.